Hi again. Let's continue our discussion of Parse here. And, uh, you know, in the last few videos, we've, we've made a simple app here with Parse that, you know, allows you to create posts, sign up a user, log in as a user, log out as a user, and it displays the currently logged in user. And in the last video, uh, you know, we set up a, a system where, you know, you're creating new posts and those posts get assigned to a user. So when I look at the, at the post table here, you can see that this um, user column is a column of pointers that point to objects in the user table, okay? So what I want to do now is um, when I display the posts here, in, in the display down at the bottom, I want to include the username with the, with the post, right? So I want to display the username, you know, so it'll say like, you know, the title, the username, and then what the post is, okay? And so it should show a different username for each, each post here. And then that way we can, uh, you know, uh, we'll know who posted, and if you want, we could make that a link where you could click to get all posts from that user or visit that user's, you know, profile, right? We just need a reference to the user. So here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to go into into my um, my code here, and I'll find the, uh, the JavaScript block, right? So here's the script tag, and then I have a a function here called get posts, right? And this this goes into the parse database and grabs all the post objects. Okay, and we just used a simple query here. So we said query, you know, new parse query, okay, for posts. And uh, what I'd like to do now is is include the user in the post. Now, if we get the user here, because we have the user column, if I just say user is results, you know, I dot get user, you know, we'll get like the reference to the user, we'll get the ID of the user, right? But we won't get the full user object. Okay, so think about, think about it this way, like if we say get user, what's going to happen is we're just going to get the contents of this field, right? Which isn't the entire user from the user table. It's just the reference here, right? Like the, the ID number, okay? But what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the whole user object. So not only are we getting, you know, this thing, we're getting what it links to, right? So I want to get this whole thing here, which will give me the username and the email address maybe or the created at address or any other features that we add to this user, right? So, uh, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to modify our query, okay? And there's a lot of ways you can modify these queries. So this is just getting started on that, right? So we'll say query dot, and the query has the query object has a, a lot of methods that let you modify like how it returns the results or which results it returns. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say query dot include. Okay, so I'll say query include, and what this does is it says like if you have a pointer and you name the pointer here, so I'll name user right, and if you name that pointer, what it's saying is it's saying include the whole object for that pointer or the whole object that that pointer points to. Okay, so I'll say include user. So now we're going to, we'll query our, our, for the post objects and get all the post objects. And then we'll say, you know, along with those post objects, also include the entire user object, right, for each post, okay? And then um, down here, we'll, um, in, we'll get the user object here, right? But what's going to happen is when we get that user object now, it'll be an entire object, you know, with... All the other information in it so you know if if imagine that this was the user object if we wanted to get the username from it we would say user dot get right because this is a parse object so we'll use get to get one of the properties on it and uh, I want the username property okay right so user gets a pointer and so this line, since we said include user, 
you know, when we say get user, it's going to essentially, you know, take us to that user object and give us the entire user object now. And then if I say, you know, user.getName or get username, then it's going to get the username field here. Okay. And then we can include that in our post. So maybe, you know, I've got the title and the content, but maybe right here in my output, I'll include the, um, the username. Why don't we make this a small tag like this? And then inside here, we'll need to you know, use those little plus signs in the quotes, and then we'll put username in there. So this username that we got, we'll insert into the field here, okay, or into this, uh, this tag, okay? Now let's take a look, right? So I'll save all that, and then now I'll go back to my test page here and refresh it. And then, you know, you can see that post geo was from hello, and post geo is from hello, and this other post geo is from hello. And, uh, oh yeah, so these first five are all from hello, but then this one was from test, and this is from test. I only have the two users, so it's going to be just two of these, right? And let's see. Um, yeah, I guess all those guys are from test, and these guys must all be from hello, right? So it looks like it's kind of working there, right? Um I thought I did them a little bit differently there. Let's see. So this is, you know, I guess this, it's hard to tell here, right? But, uh, but anyway, there you go. So that's how we're going to associate our posts with the particular user. Okay. Um, let's see. So we got post geo. Let's take a look, right? Post geo. And I click on this and it's hello, right? And if I go to posts let's find one by test right so it says geo point right and if i say uh geo point and i click on this one well that one says hello i don't know i think i think it's working hard to tell though maybe i'll add another user you test it out okay so thanks for watching i hope that's helpful to someone